Okay, what this video is going to show you is how easy it is to sniff passwords and usernames sent over FTP protocol. We've already talked a little bit in the paper about FTP, so I won't go into all the details there, but I do want to show you how easy it is. Now, the program that I'm going to use is called Wireshark, and Wireshark is you know, publicly available. It's free software. But a self-respecting hacker isn't going to use something as complicated as this. They don't need a user interface, obviously, because this program is going to be running on a PC that they have infected. So, and all they want to do is they want to keep it lying low, uh, undetectable. So, they want to keep it as uh, inconspicuous as possible. So, I've already set up some some a capture command. So, I'm just going to start it here. Um, Okay. Now I'm going to open up a. Uh, I'm not going to use any pro fancy FTP program. I'm just going to use Windows FTP. It's a command line, just so we can see the traffic. You might use the uh, FTP program built into your uh, your web editor. You may use something like uh, Qt FTP or WS FTP or any of the other uh, publicly available programs. But so I'm just going to type in FTP and I'm going to FTP to my website. We watch your website.com. Hit enter. Now you see in the background here in Wireshark, it's already generated some traffic as it connects to my server. Now my server responds with a request for a username. So I'm just going to type in Tom. That gets sent to my server. My server responds back, says it needs a password for Tom. So I'm going to type in password to we watch. Now obviously these aren't my real username and password for my website because that would be really dumb for this video. But you see that the my server responds back with uh, the fact that you know I didn't supply a valid username and password. But the traffic did generate nonetheless. So what we see here is, here's the, in this line in blue, the request. You see my IP address internally, and then the IP address of my server. So it says, the request of the user, and then Tom was sent from my PC to the server. And the server responds, you see here the IP address of the server is the source, destination is my PC here. It requires a password for Tom. Now I typed in a password and I hit enter, so that went from my PC to my web server, and you see here, there it is, password to we watch. That's exactly what I typed in. So it's not encrypted, it doesn't need any special decoder ring or anything else, it's simply plain text. So what a hacker would use is they would have their own program uh, installed on your system uh, as a virus, as a trojan, as a worm, any, any of a number of different ways. And what they would do is just let this program sit idly on your system, just watching for FTP traffic, nothing else. So you probably wouldn't even notice it was doing anything until you go to upload files to your website. Once it does, once you do, it records your username and password and sends it to the hacker. And then all, all the hacker has to do at that point is log in as you and change your files, you know, put their malicious code into your uh, website and then move on to the next one. And they don't do it manually as we said in the paper. It does, we don't, hackers don't do this manually. They have it all automated. They're very, very smart and very efficient. So you see how uh, insecure FTP traffic really is. Thank you.